good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Javez Khan. Welcome to my vlog series of 2022. I am currently in District Atak in Pakistan and flying through a village known as Shadi Khan. I left hand side here, Shamroz Lala, Thurasen Lala, Tahir. If you're watching, here's your house. These guys are, these guys are from Oldham in Lancashire. So may the sun always shine on you. I'm now traveling towards one of my favorite, favorite villages, which has got a huge history. It's surrounded by Shadi Khan on one side, Kamal Musa on the other side. Tajuk is on, I believe on this side over here and Sirga is on the other side here. A village that has deep history. It's a really enriched area and I'll tell you about it without mentioning its name. Its roots are far and wide, so I'm about to share <laughs> some fun information with you. It's in no particular order, but a little bit of a tour because my friends from Bradford, Oldham, Huddersfield, Oxford and way beyond in other countries have been watching this vlog series and they're saying please Javi share a little bit more so I'm having a wonderful time piecing some information together and have you guessed where I am heading ladies and gentlemen let's have a look what is this way welcome to Wesa and it's a properly proper properly it's a proper rocky ride we have look the football ground which is empty it's just um, around about Asr time it's about 5 30 in most of the masjids Asr prayers will take place about 5 45 this is Dosma Madlala's house who lives in Bradford as we're just coming a little further through I believe uh, by Aziz Rahman, Shis Rahman, um, and Fuzzel from Leeds Road in uh, Bradford. Their home is a little further on the right hand side. Uh, she said, uh, "Might actually, actually, these might be the, uh, the doors." I, uh, I think. And I know further on the right hand side here, Safdar uh, Lala, Sabir Lala, Sahil Lala, who also live in Bradford. Three. One of these buildings is is their home as well. So this place is deep rooted in the city of Bradford as well and I know Shisa Rahman has been here for um, in excess of five years at least and he's now uh, settled here, he's working here, set up a business um, in the area of uh, engineering particularly uh, gas engineering and as we as we just on the back of the motorbike being thrown all over the place we are now coming towards uh, a place known as Tuti Baba Ada, which again is, is vibrant, it's energetic. We have a car coming towards us as well. Oh, and we've hit some potholes. And on the corner here we have Jazz Shop. What do you say? Shiraz Gul Karyana Store. Uh, my cousin uh, works here as well. and. So I've turned left um, <laughs> and here we go we have some I believe some healthy competition and look what I, it says Bradford Road here which I think has something to do with and look I've just turned uh, towards the right hand side and look what I found here this says Bradford Road okay and I believe this has something to do with uh, Usman uh, from Bradford, uh, Fiaz uh, by his uh, son. But as we go a little further, it used to say Bradford on the Bradford Road on the right hand side as well, and it's disappeared. And apparently, uh, a little bit of cool, ice, steady competition because there's quite a few people from the city of Oxford that live here as well and they're claiming this to be the Oxford Road and the Bradfordians are claiming it to be a Bradford Road so nice cool healthy competition so I'm going to take you down take you down some more 
uh, streets, but it's actually Asr uh, prayer time as well. Quite a few of the people look, close their shops, a sign of uh, uh, history, a uh, sign of what used to happen in Makkah and Medina all of those years ago. So really, really nice. And here's the entrance to the masjid. So late e or early evening, as the prayers are over, uh, people have started to walk out into the masjid and they'll start walking towards their mainly a bazaar area so people will start walking towards their uh, shops and start reopening their shops look one's opened already you can hear the shutters and see the dust as the other shops open as well so let's go for a little, little walk so i'm now walking uh, through the Baba Aga uh, and there's shops of all different uh, kinds look, as you can see some are concrete Concrete developed fairly well, fairly neat, and then we've got look, all the type of shops as well. And this place is just continuously developing. Uh, there's more and more infrastructure coming in uh, upon a, a, a monthly basis. Oh, look who I've spotted over there as well. That is a tailor's shop. That is Khalid Bai's shop. Um, he used to tailor my clothes for me uh, a long time ago. Salaam alaikum Khalid Bhai. Look, Khalid, Khalid Bhai is look, waving as well. Can you see? Look, he's just there. He's always really, 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 really busy and I don't want to get knocked over. So as we got a little close, he's calling me over. But look, let's go inside his shop and let's have a look. Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum Bhai. Bhai Khalid. How are you, sir? Alhamdulillah. Kahen kuch camera mein. So, pura Europe dekh raha hai. Sab ko, sab ko salam beji yaar. Thik hai ji, sab ko beri taraf se salam alaikum. Vaise wale kon kon yad hai? England mein. Unko salam bejo. Sab ko jo bhi bas is vakat zair mein naam nahi aara hai, bho sare. Sab ko beri taraf se salam alaikum. There you go. Oh mashallah, look, he's sending peace and blessings upon everyone, and he says, take good care of yourselves. And look, whilst I've been waiting, I've been invited into one of the. Uh, one of the local shops for, for a drink, this is how wonderful the people are and there's no electricity. Oh, there's a fan and the water, water and Power Development Authority have switched the electricity off. Well, I've decided to move out of there because it's very hot, 35 degrees plus and we're just getting absolutely drenched. And the hospitality of the local people is Look, they've just brought some nice cool drinks, a nice sliced drink. Uh, this is the shop. And look, I'm having people like, feel like a personality. Look, I've got loads of people just like coming around and saying hello. So whilst I've got this opportunity, uh, let me just tell you a little bit uh, more perhaps. A little bit of um, history, and I'm not brilliant at history, but this is very, very general. So the village of Uesa is one of uh, 84 villages. It came into existence round about 1800, <coughs> excuse me, round about 1800. And give or take, the founder of the village was an Afghan gentleman whose name was Awais Khan. And Awais Khan's nickname was Waisa Khan. Waisa in Urdu means words to the nearest effect of it's just like this. It's just like this. Esahi here. It's just like this. So this place was named after him. And if you go further back in history, you'll find names like Dos Muhammad Khan, who was a ruler in uh, the areas of, 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 of Afghanistan. The people themselves, well, what can I tell you? The language majority is Pashto. Hinko is also. Uh, spoken in the area, which is very similar to uh, Punjabi, uh, surrounded by by people. To me, in a stra strange language, so Hinko is uh, similar to Punjabi. The people, and generally, this is generally right across pa Pakistan, but specifically to Wesa, people are, are faithful. They're humble. Uh, they're respectful. They're hospitable. Uh, they uphold behaviors of honor and dignity. Uh, and respect 
and uh, have huge values. Uh,